Hi my friends, this is Wolfgang again from Wolfgang's Healing Circle and today we will be talking on how to use crowns and uh, some of that stuff is uh, quite advanced uh, but uh, these are special times and I think um, this information has to come out and uh, if you're thinking of uh, abusing this information, <laughs> well, good luck to you. Uh, otherwise, um, well, some of that stuff may sound uh, quite far out, but we all have kind of a truth meter in ourselves, and I advise you to just, um, you know, uh, use your own BS meter, you know, see if it uh, sounds or rings uh, true for you or not, uh, and then try it out for yourself. I'm not your daddy, and you don't have to believe anything I say, but if it makes sense, so uh, it makes sense. So here we go. So you want to know about uh, crowns, and um, nowadays there are a variety of people that use crowns, anything from priests and priestesses to magicians, witches, uh, exotic dancers, uh, strippers, actors, and um, Renaissance fair people. Uh, and belly dances, uh, and there are probably many more. And um, here are some uh, very few physical uh, and historical um, tidbits I can share with you. And uh, then there are the bulk of the information is basically a more of a metaphysical, of a fine, a finer nature, uh, dealing with our finer energies. So uh, first of all. Um, crowns have been used in, in certain form, um, just like uh, birds uh, have develop certain feathers, uh, try to make themselves appear big and special, you know, due to uh, sexual selection, let's say, uh, the paradise uh, birds uh, come to mind. Um, actually, in uh, most culture, you know, big head or some big hair thing, uh, or some big head thing like, uh, you know, the uh, warrior helmets um, throughout the ages, throughout the cultures, uh, have been uh, bigger than maybe practical, um, <laughs> was uh, useful. Whether it's uh, the more modern military cap, uh, Greek, um, horse tail appendages uh, to the samurai helmets. Um, you know, males try to uh, look more impressive. You know, that is why uh, policemen, you know, wear their mustache and have a uniform that enhances their shoulders with the lapeliers. So if you just want to look impressive with your crown and uh, you think chi and finer energies is just a bunch of hocus pocus, my advice is to you, uh, use the Alexander Technique uh, when you wear a crown. Um, the Alexander Technique, very simply, is uh, a technique uh, developed by an Australian actor and he uh, figured out uh, how to be the hero, you know, which pose is that of the hero, of the um, king, of the queen. And his uh, findings are very much the same as the findings of the yogis, and that is very simply, you imagine that you're having a thread kind of attached uh, uh, where uh, above the head, uh, on top of the head, where basically the spine goes into the skull, and you imagine that you're being pulled up here, and uh, let it swing let it float up. You imagine your head floating up and that means you know your spine is erect and uh, from a yogic point of view the uh, energy, strongest energy flow in your body which is up your spinal column, it's called the Shushumna, um, there will be a natural unobstructed upflow of energy which would be uh, disturbed let's say or not as strong if you would be slouching, you know, being king to the side and whatever. So uh, you imagine again, you know, you're floating up, everything is nice and straight. And uh, in this way also, uh, when the head is cocked like this or like that, there is not so much energy transfer into the brain from these pranic uh, flows of energy that are flowing up your spinal column. And so that is the ideal pose. And then for your shoulders, you don't bring them back. You're imagining they're floating out 
to the side. And that's how you are the hero. That's how you're worthy of uh, wearing a crown. And you can try by yourself, you know, swing a little bit forward and backwards or sideways till you find the uh, highest amount of energy flow or till you feel the best. So much about the posture uh, when wearing a crown. Now, let's talk more about uh, the subtle aspects of a crown. Uh, well, actually, crowns are not just for a status symbol, for bling bling, you know, shiny things, uh, precious things. Uh, there is a lot more to that. Uh, when we look at the spiritual cultures uh, around the world, we will always find kind of headdresses or devices that enhance the energy um, centers that are on, on top of your head. In the uh, Christian tradition or in many other traditions, you know, in the divine iconography, you know, you find the saints and holy people, you know, surrounded with a halo, you know, around the head, and which is a natural occurrence uh, when you are in higher consciousness, in high vibration. Uh, then these realities uh, become visible um, to the naked eye. In some Christian iconography, I've also seen um, scenes depicting the uh, apostles uh, when they receive the Holy Spirit, and they have little flames above their head, which is uh, a more a description of the crown chakra being opened. This here is a whole complex a combination of your throat energy center, of your third eye energy center, and of this. And it's a, a good sign to have that, no question about it. Uh, but then, you know, it keeps going and, you know, your deepest connection with the higher realms, with the angelic realms, uh, with the realms where we are beyond uh, time and space, where we see the big picture. Um, is above the head, when we're focused above the head and there for all those little flames that are symbolizing that. I think for a crown chakra those little flames are a little bit puny. I would see, I like to see like a blazing thing flowing up there, you know, but uh, they probably didn't know better at that time, you know, at least those artists. So when we go to South America, um, those uh, shamans and Indios, uh, I've seen, you know, they have little uh, feathered uh, crowns that are actually enhance this. And of course, we all know about the fancy headgear of the uh, Northern Native American uh, chiefs that have been promoted um, uh, so much in the movies. Feathers are wonderful energy transfer devices, and uh, so they also enhance uh, these energy centers uh, above the head. And then, of course, we have the tonsure, the cutting out of hair on top of the head uh, from the uh, Christian monks. And then, of course, there is the yamaka, like what the Pope wears, or in the Jewish tradition, which puts pressure in exactly the same spot. And there is the sika of the Hindus and, uh, yeah, of course, the Kazakhs, you know, to, uh, to in stimulate through just tactile uh, sense perception, you know, the uh, crown chakra. And um, <laughs> we, of course, we have the uh, fish-shaped uh, Pope head and everybody knows those cone-shaped heads that are uh, the uh, Western uh, magicians and the uh, Western uh, witches are depicted in. And of course, uh, you will find also cone shaped headdresses in other cultures. These are all devices, you know, to enhance the um, energies uh, above your head. Now, uh, why enhance the energies uh, above your head? Well, from a yogic point of view, um, the, uh, the more we have energy in, in, in the upper part of the body, um, the more our consciousness gets shifted, our awareness gets shifted in its perspective to uh, 
a non-dualistic uh, point of view. It, it is easier to uh, contact or perceive angels. It is easier uh, to uh, get telepathic impression or send telepathic thoughts. Um, our thinking is non-dualistic. Mm, we are closer to spirit. We see the big picture. Uh, it is much easier to see the divine plan instead of just our own personal selfish desires when our crown chakra is open. And uh, we become um, vessels um, of the divine, tools of the divine, um, tools of God's love and of God's healing, etc. And um, those headgears, and this includes crowns, are actually designed to enhance that. And traditionally, uh, of course, the priest, priestess, or the king would uh, wear a crown. And um, so these are the people that make the important decisions that uh, have to, uh, that need the most accurate information that are in dire need of divine guidance because um, their insights and decisions affect the uh, lives of uh, millions of people in, in, in some cases. And uh, so it, everything was done to enhance uh, the uh, consciousness of such an important person. So here uh, we have a crown that Ishani made. And uh, let me just explain, you know, it's simple uh, construction. First of all, at, at the end, you know, it can be adjusted so it, it fits any head size. And if you have pearls around it, now pearls um, connect very much with the water energy and they have a soothing um, effect on the emotions and um, we become emotionally uh, more attuned and um, yeah because uh, we are our emotions are soothed um, then uh, you will see um, the s s chakra stones uh, like here is pink turquoise um, maybe chrysocolla violet amethyst there is a big amethyst uh, pyramid here. Pyramids basically just focus a ray of light outside but they also have a, like a spray paint energy but the bulk of the energy you know goes you know out to the center. And uh, we have some red and uh, we have some yellow, some tiger eye here. And uh, we'll basically um, and there's uh, some moonstone up here to uh, in enhance uh, sensibility and of course there is uh, there are dolphins and uh, the moon and other symbology um, on this uh, crown um, now why are those stones there all the stones uh, uh, lend different energies um, they are basically transmitters of different energies and so when uh, the higher divine realms uh, feel it is necessary to give us certain energies, it makes it uh, more easy, you know, to vibrate through those um, stones. Also, um, um, these stones are like uh, transistors that uh, amplify uh, our own energies, our own thought forms, and um, they also store energy. Um, so whenever you think whatever thought forms you form while wearing a crown is very potent. First of all, uh, because, you know, when you wear a crown and your crown chakra is open, and then you're in higher vibration and higher consciousness, and whatever intent you're using in a higher state of consciousness is much, much, much more potent than uh, any intent you're using in a lower state of consciousness and that is uh, for good reasons. So um, then, uh, of course, those thoughts uh, get amplified um, by the crown, um, by the metals. Um, 
all these uh, substances are actually um, storage devices um, that can hold energy and amplify energy. Uh, I give you an example. I'm wearing um, these uh, multi-metal uh, arm bracelets and uh, when I take them off uh, my hand kind of feels naked in a, in a way um, because um, when I have this thing on there seems to be energy like radiating like big baseball gloves for my hand and when I take it off it's not there anymore I would have to uh, put an extra effort uh, into my hand to chi up my hand and so uh, the uh, metals together with the human energy field have a symbiotic relationship and uh, so the same you know we see metals here uh, the metals generally used in, in, in these crowns are bronze, brass, uh, some silver solder and uh, copper uh, maybe and uh, so they have a wonderful synergy and uh, integrate very, very well. Um, <clears throat> also, we see gems, uh, they create a synergy. Um, <clears throat> before we use any jewelry, and especially crowns, uh, I strongly recommend uh, you to clear this. Uh, many people will think, oh, salt is great. Well, salt will do the trick, but it's very harsh, and I wouldn't want to get salt on these beautiful surfaces. Um, if you want to use uh, something uh, easy mechanical, use a bowl of uh, brown rice. Uh, personally, I recommend um, using the divine symbol. This is uh, freely available on my website. You can print it out and you can uh, place uh, this crown onto the divine symbol. I would just lay it here and leave it on there uh, maybe for five minutes and then put another portion on there, leave it for five minutes and just go around. Um, those of you um, that are sensitive can probably feel uh, when there seems to be suddenly a feeling of happiness <laughs> in uh, around you and uh, that means you know this thing has been cleared, at least a portion of it has been cleared. Um, there is a link uh, um, to this uh, divine symbol uh, in the text accompanying this video and you're free to visit my website and upload it. Um, it is free of charge and uh, it is explained how to use uh, this divine symbol for, uh, symbol for other purposes. Now this crown already has been, uh, has been cleared and um, so the next step, step to soup this thing up is to put a certain intent into the gems, into the metal. Um, putting your energy or intent into uh, objects is an old mystical tradition. Uh, many of you are probably familiar uh, in the warrior tradition uh, where you become uh, one with your weapon, uh, where uh, the weapon becomes a part of your body extension. Uh, and um, you also probably heard of uh, divine weapons, and I'm not talking about astras, you know, the weapons that were used by the ancients, uh, where mantras were incarnated. That's a completely different thing. No, I'm talking about um, divine swords. Um, where thought forms were put into uh, the uh, metal or afterwards, maybe through ceremony, but especially when you uh, blacksmith um, uh, iron, um, these thought forms, you know, get permanently uh, impregnated into the metal, um, and uh, there uh, <laughs> those those uh, divine weapons then become more than just uh, physical objects, you know, they are loaded with thought forms and with uh, pranic energies and uh, can do things uh, that are beyond the general expectations of humans. So uh, in the same way uh, we can uh, program our crown and 
uh, as with every time you know where we use um, power uh, we should use it wisely um, because um, the repercussion can be uh, quite strong the more power we have uh, the more damage we can do and uh, believe me I'm not a moralist and I'm not your daddy either but I have done about a thousand past life regression over the years uh, with other people and I have seen a lot of lifetimes <laughs> and um, the thing is uh, karma is not about retribution karma is not about uh, equal punishment you know where there is a balance to be achieved no karma is for learning and uh, let's say when you abuse power uh, you probably will be experiencing the other end you know uh, the receiving end of that till you learn your lesson of on not to abuse power and I have seen um, people overpaying big time I mean overpaying over thousands of years um, for evil thing they have done but uh, let's say they killed 30 people but then they got killed in maybe 200 incarnations you know until they got it so uh, <laughs> be careful <laughs> with uh, what do you wish for and that is why personally um, I find it very helpful uh, before I use any power that I have the following prefix which is kind of like a disclaimer I always asked for whatever I do is going to be for the highest good means there is nothing better that I could do you know I, I do not want to you know settle on the second or third rate you know possibility I want to have the best possibility even if I do not know what it is so for the highest good and that it will be in divine harmony very important divine harmony uh, divine harmony means it's not something selfish it is not something that ultimately you know hurts me or others and we've all you know heard those fairy tales about uh, jinns uh, magic beings that grant wishes and it always uh, somehow backfires <laughs> there's always a lesson there's always something not considered because we do not know generally what the highest good is and uh, that's why uh, I asked for the highest good um, and then of course also uh, divine harmony um, so again it's it's something we want to be aligned with with God's desire and will you know then we um, go with the stream and if you're not aligned with uh, divine will uh, then we're swimming it against the stream and uh, cause a lot of uh, karma entanglement and disturbances for ourselves and other therefore divine harmony um, let's um, take this crown and um, generally I, I speak uh, uh, to those metals and gems uh, in my mind they have consciousness uh, not as ours but they have consciousness and they like to be spoken to like with an open heart uh, with simplicity um, just like you would speak to a child or if you are a child yourself so I asked you know all your gems you know to please 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 you know uh, work um, to uh, gather uh, in synergy and uh, please release any dissonances or discordances or oppositions that prevent you um, from working together in perfect synergies so please find all resistances remove all resistances and clear all resistances Amen for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes and uh, yeah, I feel an upliftment, you know, as this happens. Uh, the thing uh, starts to kind of glow and vibrate in, in my hands. And um, I feel a lot better. <laughs> and uh, now I asked uh, 
these uh, entities here, these beings here that are in this uh, matter of uh, gems and metals uh, to please uh, always interface with the human um, that is going to be wearing those uh, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. So please, you know, hook them up to the divine self, uh, to their higher self, uh, to the uh, angels of light, uh, to the saints, uh, to uh, Mother Earth, to all the beings uh, that are working from a platform of unconditional love. Amen. And this amen basically means, you know, so be it, you know, please uh, seal that in, this is what I want. You know, and it is up to them, you know, to, to do it, but uh, as long generally as you ask for the highest good, uh, you get a lot of cooperation. And now I go also specific, um, I would like, uh, please could you open you know, the pineal gland and the pituitary gland um, of that person that is uh, wearing this, as well balance the brain halves um, of that person that is wearing this uh, to the optimum, to the optimum level, so that they can become the perfect instrument of spirit. Amen. Just wait. And uh, maybe one more thing. Um, when we wear a crown and people look up to us, uh, our ego sometimes get puffed up, and that uh, generally has not a good result in our life. Nothing good ever comes from that. So I ask that uh, please, you know, uh, keep our ego and check, actually integrated with the, my, uh, with the divine will, with my divine will, uh, with the Dharma or the mission that I came to perform in this lifetime. And hmm, keep me balanced, uh, keep me also grounded uh, to Mother Earth. If you do not want to get uh, spaced out while we're wearing this here, being just ooh, in La La Land. No, we want to stay grounded. And um, yeah, uh, always uh, let us see ourselves as the servant of uh, the divine, as the instrument of the divine. Amen. And uh, let's have uh, lots of fun and joy and love uh, while we're wearing this crown. You know, spirituality is, is not supposed to be a dry formal Saturnian thing. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh yes, and uh, please always have my inner child involved uh, when I wear this crown, or the person that wears this crown, that the inner child is playfully, the divine inner child is playfully, um, you know, can express itself through you. Through, through you, yeah. Amen. I'm getting a little spaced out here while <laughs> I'm doing this. And now uh, all these uh, substances, uh, they work as a capacitor. This means they're energy storage devices. And uh, let me uh, tell you a story. Uh, in India, um, uh, I once uh, asked a very nice yogi. Uh, he was wearing like this very tiny turban always uh, around his head. And this is Bombay. And uh, Bombay is like 95 degrees uh, with 95% uh, humidity. You know, you do not need to wear a turban to keep uh, your head warm. And he was not a Sikh. So uh, I asked him, you know, why are you wearing this, uh, this little tiny turban? What is the reason? And he said, it protects me. Uh, he said, you know, it's, uh, it gets charged up with the uh, vibration that I carry uh, around my head. And when I get into a bad place, um, these bad energies uh, around there do not uh, affect me that much. Um, uh, 
be because this turban is carrying the good vibration it is like a buffer it's like a buffer just like you wear a heavy coat in the cold so it's like a buffer against the ever-changing energies um, around and so in the same way you know we can charge up um, this crown and um, yeah let's just uh, do this and uh, what better to charge this up than with love and because it is the the uh, is this, uh, an, uh, something to connect you to the higher chakra to the heaven energies I will draw in energy uh, through my higher chakras energy centers into the heart and then from the heart I will send it with a smile um, into the crown. Now the important thing is the smile. Uh, with a smile you can adjust the quality of the love and with the strength of your breath um, you can adjust the quantity of your love. And so here we go. and ask the uh, divine angels to come and bless me and bless this crown Well, uh, this is buzzing now like anything, and now I ask, so please uh, keep this vibration. Um, do not uh, change this vibration unless you're being asked otherwise, you know, from the owner, from somebody that is authorized. Amen. And I love you. And uh, now, let's just uh, put it on. Let's see, it should be nice in the center. Now here we have amethyst uh, just above the third eye and we have uh, lapis here and uh, some other blue stuff over here and hmm, let's just uh, expand my third eye. So I draw energy from the heavens into uh, the center of my head and then just blow it out up front and uh, now I also blow it out in back this is more where your telepathic channels attach so you want to clear this area of the head out And now I just uh, work on opening my crown chakra so I breathe back and forth, back and forth, all the way up to the ceiling. <laughs> and smile and I put my tongue to the top of my palate. Uh, you can move your tongue around to find uh, the spot where the most power is transmuted. <laughs> It's just doing it by itself, just the crown is doing it. But uh, personally, I always like to soup it up. Uh, that's my nature, you know, Scorpio rising. We like it intense. Oh, I can feel how the crown is actually adjusting the energies in my body, grounding me, <laughs> opening my heart, boosting my force field. And uh, now this is uh, 
for those of you that are ready, if you have a crown and you're coming to this point, uh, ask your high self to please come down and superimpose herself or himself over your physical body. I ask now for my high self, may, uh, my androgynous high self, to descend into my body now. Amen. And of course, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcome. Amen. And here, <laughs> it is here. Uh. And uh, I personally know, I mean, yes, I can feel the shift in frequency. Ooh, and uh, I feel taller around the shoulders. I am tingling all over my body. And uh, I'm going to be opening up a little bit more to my high self. Um, and I imagine that I have a zipper like along my spine. I zip this up a little bit more. Uh, to open me up to the next level of energy that I can handle. Uh, we, uh, if we would incorporate the full power of our high self in our body, uh, probably we would burn out the nervous system and <laughs> uh, it would not be good. <laughs> so uh, just be very, very cautious with this. Um, I hope you have a good time. and. Um, so much uh, for the instructions on how to use a crown. I, I love you and I hope to see you again. And I have been uh, receiving a lot of, thank you, a lot of uh, Skype requests uh, where people uh, want to talk to me on Skype uh, without having introduced themselves uh, through email beforehand. So everybody that would like to talk with me, uh, please, please, please send me an email and uh, send me uh, your Skype name and a good, maybe a good time, you know, what is maybe the issue, you know, that is pertinent to you and uh, then I will contact you and uh, make an appointment. Uh, uh, check out my other videos and uh, I, I uh, thank you for your support. Uh, of, of donations that is very welcome and supports the work. Uh, there is a lot more to share. Uh, see you next time. Amen. Namaste.